Hi, Dr. Paul Hader here, virtual teacher. Well, take care of your dreams. Keep your dreams alive. And I mean that in two different ways. You know, the dreams you have for your life, which is, they are very, very important, you know. I know back in the, the 70s, I, I had given up on working at the university, and I said, you know, there's got to be a better way. So I went back to school and uh, I started my own practice and started helping people. And I had this dream that I wanted to help people and make a difference in the world. And and I still have that dream. And every day I, I try to help, you know, a few people in any way, shape, or form I, I can. And, you know, that's been quite a few years. But it's about keeping that dream alive. And also, the dreams we have at night are very important. You know, at one time I had a dream that uh, I would live in this home that had a terracotta roof. And, you know, we have this home that has a terracotta roof. And it's just amazing. We have dreams. We should wake up in the morning and write them down because they are trying to get our attention about something, about something maybe in the future or waking us up about waking us up about something in the past or what's going on right now. And maybe it's just a symbolic thing. It's reminding us that we need to be more in the here in the present or we have to be more diligent or we have to allow ourselves to be more at peace. But it's trying to bring us a message in some way and then God is moving into our dream to allow us to be enlightened and bring us wisdom. And that's really important. So the, the two work together. And it's about allowing ourselves not to allow fear to take over our goals of our dreams for our life. I see a lot of that right now. We can't let go of our dreams. No matter how things get bad or how bad things get in general, we can't allow our dreams to be diminished. We allow ourselves to just hold on to those dreams and bring them into our heart and know every day that everything's going to work out. You know, when I lived in that six foot by nine foot room for a year, uh, I still held on to my dreams and I one day I was just really down and I was crying and I said, God, I'm not giving up. I'm not going to give up no matter what. And that was a key pivotal point for me because I was focused and I had this great faith. And that's what it takes. You know, we can't give up. If we give up on ourselves, we give up on our heart, we give up on the one living in our heart, which is God, we've given up on God, too, at the same time. So it's really important to have that great faith, that great love. And we have to love the one we see in the mirror, because, boy, it's, I can guarantee you times are going to be hard. There are hard times coming, but what did I learn through that process? What did I gain? How did I become a better person? You know, I... I became stronger living in that six by nine room. And everything that God has brought me has brought me to a place of being able to help more people because I've experienced it myself. And it's impossible to tell somebody how to get better or heal themselves. And I don't heal anybody. They, everybody heals themselves. Unless we've gone through it ourselves. And to be a parent of great wisdom, you know, that's important because we have to have gone down a few roads ourselves in order to be able to help our, our kids. So it's about allowing ourselves to keep our dreams alive. How can we help our kids keep their dreams alive if we give up on our own dreams? It's not possible. To allow ourselves to refresh that dream every day. And it's important, you know, I have a big vision board up above here, and uh, a vision board is a wonderful way to do that. You can take a big 3 by 4 or even bigger piece of cardboard and 
take magazine cuttings and uh, pictures because the unconscious works in pictures and just paste those all over of things that you want to see in your life I would recommend taking into account mind body spirit relationship social life financial life and our beliefs also and put those all around that and every year change that and put it somewhere that you can only look at it and look at it every single day and that'll keep pointing the unconscious mind towards that direction towards that a new creation towards that uh, ability to bloom and blossom into who you want to be now, it's important not to get stuck in the here and now of you know being here and now is good wait a minute of course but be stuck in the here and now that's a different thing be stuck in the here and now and giving up on our dreams no, that's not good we have to allow ourselves to have those great dreams that good things are coming no matter what and sometimes when it's life is hard it it's hard to keep that alive I know I've been there myself but when we allow ourselves to push past those things and we the more we do that the more we do it the more we do it we just finally get to a point because that's just another little hump I had to get over and the more humps we get over the more we uh, decide that they're all just little humps and we just look back on them and go hmm, that's interesting but I I made it to where I wanted to be and do we ever arrive I don't think so we should keep striving you know uh, I know a man who, when he got into his 70s and his he decided he was going to retire and kind of give up on, on life in general. And he kind of decided not to exercise, not take care of himself, and uh, gained a bunch of weight. And then uh, ended up going to the doctor. And uh, it was all of this challenges in his body was caused by kind of decided it was time to die. I think if we can be vital and full of energy and have dreams till the very last day. And I've met people like that. And I believe that with all my heart and soul. So keep your dreams alive. Keep writing down your dreams that you have every night also. And allow yourself to never give up, to never give in. And remember that God lives within your heart. I love you.